Hey, 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 Frank Tacular Nation. It's me. It's Frank. Again. Hi. How you doing? Take it over for the day's man because he's currently punching quarterbacks in the mouth. I don't know what's over him, but he's he's out of control. Uh Yup, same deal where we wait for everybody to struggle their way in and then as they fail this gets more and more awkward. Um otherwise that's that's kind of the story for now. Uh really thinking about renaming the show since I think the Dace Man has abandoned it. He hasn't really been on in like a month. He cheated last week, so that's not really fair. Um kinda didn't tell anybody what he was doing. Oh. And here's Titties. Hello. What's up? What's up? Uh, podcasting. You? Yeah, not much. It was kind of weird because I still had you going in the background on the normal page. So I had to, like, exit out because it was, like, echoing. Oh, and everybody's favorite bird. Gibbles. Honk. Honk. Hi. Honk. The game's honk, all here. Honk. Honk. Yay. Honk. Yay. <laughs> Yay. What's going on, guys? I finally made uh, it. Podcasting? You? I don't know, man. Just drinking. Just drinking. Oh, Can't stop. Yeah, me too. Won't stop. Won't stop. Damn right. Whoop, whoop. So, are we I'm at, thinking... Guys? I'm thinking we're just going to rename the show because Dace is never on anymore. Uh, yep. I mean, Now the Frank of... show. Yep. It's kind of true. Damn right. He hasn't been on for like a... He cheated last week and pre-recorded without telling anybody. Yeah, I was, otherwise... really I was really mad about that. What did he even record? I have no idea. Because of course I, I didn't listen. Well, I'm sitting there texting you like, hey, when's the show going to happen? And you're like, uh, <laughs> about that. I don't know what you're talking about. No idea what you're talking about. So, oh, yeah. Gibby. It's not Gibby when it's the truth, okay? What? <laughs> it's right. I don't know. It's right. Right. I don't even think Gibby knows half the time. Gibby's just that goddamn sexy. I know. He, he knew Dace wasn't going to be on the show this time. I'll give him that much credit. Yeah, I just, I know everything. I know everything. The answer to the world is four. Four? Why it's a good four? answer. It's a good answer. Always four. Oh, okay. Sound logic. It's great logic. logic. Yes, there is, my friend. Tits, do you not have headphones again? No, I have headphones in. I don't know why you hear an echo. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> might be. You might plugged be. In. Almost just plugged in. Whoop, 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 whoop. I, I mean, this I, cheap I, Chinese headphone thing might be kind of dumb. I don't know. Hey, I I definitely have headphones in though. Don't don't diss on the Chinese, man. <clears throat> They're devaluing their yen. Yeah, Gibby's got one trapped in his basement that he takes care of every night. Isn't that Japanese? The yen. Yon, yen, I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> okay. You valuing bastards. Oh my gosh. What? What? What's your problem? You. Why? Because I actually know things? I know things too. You're just wrong in many different ways. What, are you serious? They devalue the... Oh my no, God, like so. politically wrong. No, like... It's not politically wrong. It's politically what just have fuck just happened. With the way you say things, Gibby, just just drop it. Just go. Just There's no dropping. I'm pretty I'm sure right. it's time for You're weird wrong. news with Gibby. No, Maybe it's with not. Time for weird news with Gibby. Regardless. All right, I guess it's time for sports. Time for sports. Sports. <laughs> Sports, you follow sports? No, I do uh, not follow sports, my friend. I do not follow this shit thing that we call sports. <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. No. Wait, what? Speaking of sports, did you see the petition going around for Eagles fans to get the Pope to bless Sam Bradford's knees? 
Yes. Yeah. And it needs to happen. <laughs> and and Bradford's like, yeah, sure. Why I not? know that's the Bradford's best shot. part. Well, I guess anything, really anything that will work. I'm just saying. It's just the really funny. Come bless my knees. He's more than welcome. I, have I don't knees. think you're. You're I just not Chris, that important. I think Chris I needs care. his knees blessed. No, Chris needs his ex- foot blessed. <laughs> we have very important softball going on soon in the spring, so I need my knees blessed. Chris needs his foot blessed. Chris needs way more than just a foot. That's the problem. It's true. <laughs> foot, knee, back. Angle. <laughs> so. He's just done broke. He is done broke, yo. Just, just done broke. This is what happens when you don't come show up for your own show, Dave. We insult you the uh, whole he time. He won't. Know. He's not going to listen to this. He might She's listen if he edits drunk. it. That's about it. Well, I don't know. Him and Kermit just keeps texting me, asking me for back rubs, so I don't even know if they've gone anywhere. I think they're just sitting in the room. Uh, sitting maybe. in the room giving each other back rubs? Probably. Ooh. Kerbin said he's a little aggressive, so. Just a wee bit. Ooh, rawr. Rawr. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. <laughs> this is supposed <laughs> to be sports. We have drifted away from sports. No, we didn't. We just went into sports. It's a leisurely mm-hmm. sport. Yeah, back massages is definitely a sport. I mean, you have to go through special classes and training to know how to do it. Exactly. It takes practice, just like sports. Exactly. You need to have some kind of endurance, you know, just like sports. <laughs> you have your own equipment, like just like sports. Just like sports. <laughs> you know, you travel around, just like sports. Just like sports. We're the only people that can make massages a sport. <laughs> hey, it, it's professional. It's a very masseuse, intense sport. Hey. It's got professional, just like professional football or professional baseball. It's got professional. Not just anybody can give a massage. Exactly. Just like sports. <laughs> um, anyway, in actual real sports, anybody I know what's going on? I know the Vikings won their first preseason game against the Steelers. Woo! For first it doesn't count. Uh, uh, First of all, Blair, Wal- it's, Blair Walsh it's missed the, a fucking field goal again. Seems first of all, thing. it's the Steelers. Second of all, it's only preseason. Uh huh. Still a win. Nah. It's barely a win. Agreed. It's barely a win. Okay. Um, Did you see what his name? Oh, Smith winning, got his winning. jaw broken. Who? He, Smith. Geno Smith. Yep. Gino got knocked the fuck out. Do you see the guy that uh, the guy that punched him? They kicked him off the team. <laughs> knocked and him the fuck out. And he immediately already got signed again. <laughs> By who? Rex Ryan picked him up. They took him back. How funny is that? So now the question is, who's he going to take out on his team? Who knows? They're punching people. Oh, oh yeah, man. it is. <laughs> Did they ever uh, actually say like why uh, he punched him? Or anything? Yes, he punched him because he paid Smith six hundred dollars to come. Well, he bought him a ticket, six hundred dollar ticket to come to somewhere's in Florida. I don't know, or not Florida, Texas, uh, to do a mini camp thing. I guess. It was like his mini camp, and you wanted him to come. I guess I don't know. It's like a tutor or something. I have no idea. I wouldn't want him tutoring me, but that's a different story. Uh, but one of Smith's closest friends, I guess, uh, died in a motorcycle accident. So, so the asshole decided not to show up and help out the kids. So yeah, so he didn't show up, and then oh, what a he wanted the six hundred dollars back from Gino. And Gino is just basically telling him to go fuck himself. And that's pretty much where it started all over. It's basically $600, so he got his jaw broken. To them, it's six. Okay, well, maybe that one dude, because he was, I think, isn't he a rookie, or he was just picked up? He's second year, and he's like a, a lineman, so he doesn't make much money at all. So $600 to him is probably a decent amount. He's probably going to... Hold on. How much money 
is not that much money at all. He's probably still making probably like half a million, figures. right? I'm sure what? he's missing at least six fig- six figures. No, he's not. How much do you think he's making? <laughs> he's definitely not. You don't million. think he's making at least a hundred grand? Oh, I said I would think minimums more than that. So yes, at least making so, that. Okay, so by so not six, that much. Six figures, Gibby. Come on, you can count. So by not that much, you mean six hundred dollars should mean jack shit to him, and he should just shut up. Oh, so the league minimum for at least last year was four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Unless that money came from the camp that he was supposed to teach at. Even I, then, six hundred dollars. Like, you pay that within an hour of work. Well, all right. Unquote. First off. We we go like to the classic Allen Iverson. How much money does he have? Uh, a bunch. Nothing. Nothing. Did he go broke? Did he declare they bankruptcy? They all go broke. That's the problem. They spend too much money. Five hundred dollars for that's money. way too much money. Oh, well, it's not my fault. They're stupid with their money. Got to buy all that weed and drugs and women and Probably more drugs. Pussy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Whatever. Gotta be. That's right. But, okay, well, at least now I know why they're punching each other in the face. <coughs> well, punching him in the face. I think he deserved it from what I've been reading. He didn't hurt. <laughs> Just saying. Not that Geno Smith's really good anyway, so... Yeah, well, he was the top dog there, so they, people are actually speculating that uh, because of that, he's probably done, done, because... This is his year, basically, to shine because I don't. I think this is his contract year, mm-hmm. and uh, he doesn't have a jaw, so, so he's, he's not uh, going to shine very well. Well, he's got. I think. He, I think they said it's like what six to ten weeks, so he's just basically screwed. Yeah, you know he, what I mean. So I don't think. What the hell's going on in this house? <laughs> Who's going through a wind tunnel? What the fuck was that? I don't know. Jason Knox or Oh, fuck. I know, right? Who's there? What the fuck? Who's there? Identify yourself. <laughs> All right, what's up next? I don't know. There really wasn't much in sports. There's not yeah. baseball going on? I don't watch baseball. I don't watch baseball either, but isn't baseball going on? <laughs> Who really um, does baseball anymore? I believe uh, the Phillies got their I believe the Phillies got their asses handed to them yet again last night. So I thought they were winning today. Typical Phillies. They were winning. They were winning. So people are speculating that Utley's gonna get traded. Comments? Really? Concerns? Um, Why are they speculating? Oh no. Because uh, I guess our are coming back from uh injuries but playing really well. I mean, we already got we already got rid of Hamels, so yeah. Oh, we'll see what happens. I hope they get rid of him. Maybe if they get anything for him, it'd be worth it. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be his last year. It'd be nice if they could get rid of Howard. That's never going to happen. I know. Well, they could, but they just have to pay him. Some team will they, take him for free. They can't trade him. They can. I think he's got a crazy no trade clause in there, though, for like a bazillion teams. But they're just going to have to pay the contract. That's all. I don't know why they signed that contract in the first place. That was the biggest mistake they ever made. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I have no idea. It, to be honest, half their contracts were stupid. To be honest. Oh, you guys are all old. Let me pay you millions in That's long-term I mean. deals. Guaranteed. That's what I'm saying. Like there was, It was the dumbest thing they ever did, paying him that much money. Certain people, man. Certain people. You don't think it's going to be like A-Rod and just come back? No. Oh, man. Wow. I think he's useless and old. I think you're useless and old. Okay. Throw you to the curb. You don't even like me anyway. You're done. 
You're done. <laughs> You're cooked. washed up. It's over. I, let's be really honest, Gibby. You never liked me in the first place. Oh, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I don't know who invited you. She just uh, keeps showing up. She does, I know. She just never listens. You guys needed a girl. I'm here. Speaking of, we're still uh, having auditions for the next girl on our show, so we can get rid of this one. Please. If, if you think you have what it takes, call in at 760-512-7247. You have to look somewhat good. I mean, this one is it's, it's obviously an upgrade. Yes, you must have <sighs> very good looks for radio podcasts. No, just somewhat good luck. Somewhat. Anything's no better. Some. No one Anything's would want to be better. friends with you, morons. I doubt that. We're gorgeous. I mean, there's a reason God. you're stuck with me as it is. Because Gibby scared away all the other ones. Gibby I did not scare the other ones away. You probably did. They were just scared of me. I mean, we are we're scared of you. Yes, but that means it's a good time for Weird News with Gibbles. Gibby! Boy, that escalated quickly. All right, guys. A landlord got a shock when he visited his property in Leia to only find that his tenants have been keeping a very large pig in the house. <laughs> Trish, were you living at Dan. a random stranger's house? No, I think Dan was, though. <laughs> Dr. Gary Armstrong rented out his father's home in Green Lane, Lay after he moved away to Barton. Gary said, friends, family, and the professionals involved have all been stunned by what they found in this house. Shortly after Gary's tenant moved into the property, a builder was uh, completing some work on the patio and reported to Gary the presence of a large dog, which had dug a hole in the garden. To Gary said, to my surprise on inspection, I found a 50-stone Fully grown black pig living in the house. The whole thing started to come together as uh, as the state of the house and the garden were were not consistent with a dog. A previous inspection, he had been kept out of one room where I suspect the pig was always hiding. So, I mean, they what just you guys wanted think? A, they just wanted a pet pig. Why stop them? Right? Do you know how big this ass pig is? Yeah, my Huge. sister has one. Huge. I know Huge. my sister has one. Huge. They would kill you. They just looked at you. No, they won't. A pig? Yeah, my sister has one. How big is it? It's a pot belly pig. That's a pot belly pig. That's nothing compared to an actual... Have you ever seen an actual pig? Gibby, this pig weighs more than you. All right, keep going with that, my friend. All right, guys, we're going to go to Ohio. A naked man ran for nearly a mile on a busy highway Wednesday evening after crashing into six cars with his truck, state troopers said. Six people were hurt, and all southbound lanes of Interstate 71 were closed for more than an hour. The naked man, Tracy Martin, 44, of uh, Charin Falls, Ohio, Bed down the left hand shoulder in his 1994 GNC pickup truck, truck, sideswiping <laughs> four cars and nearly rear ending a fifth, according to Ohio State Highway Patrol. When troopers said Martin uh, truck hit the median, flipped and. Oh, really? Did we lose? Damn it, damn it. Gibby, when are you getting a new headset? I know. Then troopers said Martin's truck hit the median flitz and slammed into a sixth vehicle. After his truck stopped, Martin got out of the wreck and took off running. 
It took several officers, including an off-duty state trooper, to stop him. He had his hands in the air and was yelling explicit language, Trooper Kyle uh, Doeybrich said. He seemed very irate. Priest said they didn't believe Martin had any clothes with him at all. None were found in his car. Go I on. mean, he was just a little hot. That's right. He was just a <laughs> little hot somehow. Hot. It's just, you know, every day that somebody, you know, decides to go for a naked drive, you know? Sometimes it's just needed. Right. You just gotta air out. Trish does it all the time. Right? She's just, like letting them things hang. It's not like you're complaining. Uh, a little yeah. bit. That's what I say to that one. Man. <laughs> Man. Man. Authorities said a drunk driver plowed through fences and onto an active runway at Louis Armstrong International Airport in Kenner Wednesday afternoon. In where? Kenner? K E N N E R. I assume it's Kenner. Where the where or what the fuck is Kenner? Um good question. Um it's it's I think it's somewhere in LA. What is LA? Louisiana? Yes. We it's somewhere in Louisiana. <laughs> I don't know. So I can tell you with this one. Um Okay. Officer eventually took the accused driver, Cal Clement, twenty three. Uh, into custody, custody after a short chase, said uh, C.O.L.'s colonel, right? Yes, yeah. so sure. Since when the hell did they decide to start naming police officers colonels? I don't know. John uh, Fortoranto, spokesman of the Jefferson Parish uh, Sheriff's Office. A murder's called 911 Center about 12.52 p.m. spotted a blue Dodge Challenger that crashed through the perimeter fence along the airport road and onto a, a runway on the northwest side of the airfield. Airport personnel spotted the vehicle and confronted the driver per security protocol. The driver continued across the airport property until crashing through another fence on the northeast side of the airfield. Uh, Kenner police officers arrested Clement at an auto repair shop in the 1800 block of Veterans Boulevard after receiving a report of a suspicious man hiding behind an air conditioning unit. <laughs> Clint, was really? with, Clint was booked with a GWI and a hit and run. Uh, so, you know, just keep running. Apparently, you can crash through an airstrip, drive completely through it, crash out on the other side. And they, the cops still can't get you until you try and get your car fixed. Just saying. I just want to know what goes through people's heads sometimes. Top-notch security, guys. Top-notch security. Yes. That's what goes through people's heads. All right. St. Louis, guys. Bowling Green. A St. Louis woman is accusing of trying to smuggle heroin into a northeast Missouri jail and passing it along to an inmate through a kiss. The Post reported that six... Oh, Gibby. Get a new headset. Mm-hmm. Reported 60-year-old Betty Wilson is charged with delivering a controlled substance at a correctional facility and distribution of a controlled substance. Uh, Wilson was arrested on July 19th on probable cause statement. She says she was planning to pass heroin through balloons from her mouth to an from inmate her mouth. in the state prison by kissing them. Instead, she accidentally swallowed five of the balloons of drugs. That must have been one hell of a night. Sorry, said the balloons were recovered the (laughs) next day. Wilson faced his arrangement on Wednesday. Like, could you imagine that? What do you think that was like? 
<laughs> One hell of a trip. Seriously, it, though. She'd go in, right? She'd be fine going in. She'd be coming out, and uh, the, the officer's be like, are you all right? <laughs> are you okay there? No. <laughs> Not at all. Sorry. Like, she must have had one once. Oh, my gosh. I can't even imagine. Oh, you're just jealous, right? Yes, Gibby. That's exactly what it is. I'm jealous. It's fucking disgusting, really. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? Jealous of her heroin addiction? I mean, Gibby must be. Unbelievable. un effing believable <laughs> Family on their way to French Riviera for a holiday left their three-year-old daughter at a motorway That's late classy. by Sunday and drove more than 150 kilometers before realizing they had forgotten her. What? How do you forget your child? <laughs> Don't worry, it only it took 45 minutes, okay? Yeah, but that's 45 minutes you forgot that your child was missing. Like, oh, I hate, some people shouldn't be allowed to have kids. But to be honest, they weren't missing. It, They were just at a rest stop. Gibby, that's still terrible that they just forgot their child. I don't think it's that terrible. Maybe yeah, they're trying to get rid of her. not human. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of her. I mean, maybe, but that's still terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you want me to say? Like, we'll just leave her here. Somebody's bound to take her. It'll all be better. Yay. Exactly. You guys are terrible. I think eventually it will happen. Nothing wrong with that. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. Next story. Lawrence. Instead of putting out fires, two rookie public safety members allegedly caused alarm at a local mall. Go on. I'm getting tired of what this head said. I'm getting tired of what this said. Just saying. Then get a new one and stop. Like, what are you, like, you're complaining to us, like, we're stopping you. No, it's money stopping me. Anyway. Kibby, do you know where I work? God damn it. Alright. Try this again. She could hook you up, get you a fat deal. Something. Like, come on, dude. I don't want your deals. Alright, then forget you. I was trying to be nice for once. No, you weren't. See if I ever do that again. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. You're just trying to get me hooked on it. I mean, you caught me. I want you hooked on whatever you're talking about. I don't even know how I you can hooked on anything, you weirdo. Yeah, but how would I get, like, I, get me. I get it's me better not to you? question the Gibbles logic. That's right. I've, I've, I'm, I'm kind of just giving up on Gibbles. Why? Because you make my head hurt. Gibbles. I think it's just because you think I'm that cute. I understand. Oh, but yeah, Gibbles. I, totally I, I can't reciprocate what it that. Is. I'm just saying, I can't reciprocate that. Sure's butt That's ugly. A big word. Just saying. But I know. Um, I'm proud of him. I'm ball sack. <sighs> Who wants you to get me another beer? Uh, sure. What What are you drinking? Uh, Budweiser right now. I have Bud Light. Fridge. If you want to go get that, I'll take a Bud Light. Okay. Hand it over. All right. Here you go. Is that is that the end of your segment, Gibby? Oh, or are you done? Oh my God, this headset! All right, Robert Brunette, <laughs> eighteen, and eighteen-year-old Hamilton resident Jeffrey uh, were arrested Saturday afternoon for transmitting a false radio broadcast over the Quaker Bridge Mall security frequency, indicating that there was a disturbance at the shopping complex. The quick-thinking mall cops spotted a possible sus- suspect. Wait, 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 wait! There's a big issue with that sentence. Your face. Quick thinking mall cop. They exist everywhere. I mean, Jim Burton is a key example of why mall cops exist. But but he, they called him a quick thinking cop. Do so they realize the level of non intelligence that mall cops are? I don't know what to say to you anymore. It's a little depressing right now. A little depressing. 
Yeah, why you got to make fun of mall cops? <clears throat> yeah, they're why too. to make fun of mall cops? Yeah, and so are like everyone else that we make fun of on this show, and you haven't stopped me from making fun of them. Why is that? Because we're all terrible people. You're terrible I people. I doubt I'm that. Great. I highly doubt that. I'm a gorgeous person, my friend. Never listen. That has nothing to do with you being a terrible person. Uh, yeah, it does. Ugly people are terrible. Us beautiful types aren't. Exactly. That's how society yeah, that's, works. That's what it is. It's true. You see a beautiful person on the street and you just assume they're a wonderful person. No, I don't, actually. But whatever, we'll go with it. Yep. See an uggo right. on the street. I'm like, oh, Did you just call them an uggo? Suck, they probably do meth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never know. It's probably true, you know? Probably true. Fucking uggos. Fucking uggos. All right. Next story. A German jihadist uh, was claimed German? he only joined ISIS due to the humiliation of cookies. having his wedding called off. What? He, what? Would have, he would have joined the Hells Angels instead if he would have been able to. So Okay, he was going to join so the Hells Angels confused. biker gang. They turned him down, so he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck America. Going to ISIS, guys. Going to ISIS. That's right. That's right. A um, Ibrahim B., a 26-year-old German national of Tongzian origin, traveled to Syria to join ISIS last year, but was captured and interrogated by a terrorist who feared he was a spy. The ex militant eventually managed to escape his blood soaked cell in an ISIS execution center in Syria and returned to Germany where he was promptly arrested. This what? is arrest. Ab- where does he think he's going to win in this situation at all? Abraham B. was claimed he had, was never religious and still doesn't even know why, knows a proper way to pray. Adding that he only joined ISIS because. He was desperate to leave Germany. Having escaped ISIS, uh, Abraham B. returned to Germany where he and another defendant, Ayubu B., were arrested on charges of being members of a terrorist organization. Abraham is also accused of plotting a suicide bombing in Baghdad. But a serious extraordinary claims the former jihadist has now stated he was easily radicalized by the terror group because he looked for a way to escape his personal crisis. So he was scared because his wife, or fiancé, did not want to marry him and call off the wedding. And it started his descent, my friends. It started his descent. Women are the seed of all evil. It's all you women. Exactly Women are the problem. All mm-hmm. human are the problem. Root of all evil. Evil? Evil. Root of evil. all evil. <laughs> root of all evil. Right. That too. Shut up, you hoot. You are the root of my evil. My evil of my root. Uh, that's all I have. I'm surprised you, you made it that today. far. Yeah, you milked it out for quite a while, at least. That was nice of you. I tried. I figured, you know, we weren't going to have much sports news. Yeah, No. But go ahead, my friends. I'll allow oh. you to take over. All right. Oh, you'll allow us thing. to take over. All right, what else? Well, I guess... Um, right corner? I guess. Unless there's anything else you want to talk about. Seen any Beer? good pornos lately? That's classy. No. I've been trying, no? now. Can't find any good ones. That's a shame. I know. That's what I've been saying. I know there's got to be some out there. I don't... How can you not find good ones? There is... Trillions of porn out there. You're not trying. I've tried. Trust me, I've tried. I can't. I can find decent ones, but not good ones. All right. There's a difference. What would you? Would you qualify as good? Amazing. All right. Amazing. Ones. Like how? How amazing? Oh man. Hmm. How can I even put that into words, Frank? It's just got to be jaw dropping. Beautiful, like 
two girls, one cup? Is that the kind of thing you're into? Oh, my God, yes. You, she met, like Gibby, that you know the kind of stuff Gibby's into. <laughs> you yeah. know. Bird porn you and two girls, one cup. One. But that's so yesterday. So yesterday. All right, Hillary Duff. What does Hillary Duff have to do with anything? You've never... Oh, never mind. She hasn't in anything. Okay. She's, She's not a, in any no, problem. It's nothing. Just don't, don't worry about it. Is there a, is there a hill with porn? No. No, Frank, there's not. Do I need to give my life meaning to find it? I mean, you could try, but it's going to be a unfulfilled life. Okay, you're talking too much, Michael. Shit! Interpretation is brought to you by taste and good form. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Extra, extra, real or Wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Um, hey. This week, corner. Me and Frank are. Uh-huh. Let's go, Frank. Right now, me and you. What, who, are you who are you talking to? We're going with it. We're going with it, Frank. Do you need to smack a bitch? Do I need to smack a bitch? I'll smack a bitch. Oh, we we got to definitely do that, my friend. I have some little known facts about a movie you may have heard of called Dumber. Called what? Why did I choose to do this? I don't know. I just I saw it and I'm like, yeah, that'll work. Cause yeah, I wasn't feeling that ambitious for this show, to be honest. Really? It's just so we quiet like without you. days here. So, you know. We do not like you. How's that sound? Nick hmm? has it on for a while. Yeah, where has it's Nick been? All the time. I don't know. Foreign embassies, stuff like that, killing people. I I don't know what he does. Uh, it's going back there, huh? Yeah, I guess. We don't really know where Nick... I think Nick's been working on... Um, I don't know. Nick's Nick. I kind of just tried not to figure him out. He's been sending a Snapchat to him with a head on saying that he's in conference calls. I've seen that. Uh, mm-hmm. so. you, you've seen what? His Snapchats. You're just agreeing. I know. Anyway, so here's here's some stuff that you may not know about a Dumb and Dumber. Mm. Probably not. Did you know? Did you know? Jim Carrey yes. was initially offered seven hundred grand to appear in the film. However, the offer went in the same week that Ace Ventura: Pet Detective opened number one at the U.S. box office. So with his new leverage. Carrie's agent Leverage. renegotiated and got him seven million dollars. Legit to be in that film. What? Uh, as accurate as this source may be, yes. That's ridiculous. Interesting. Yeah. I could retire off of that one movie. You I could. I could have I could, I retired off of what he was originally offered. Actually. Yeah. Right. That makes. Sure. How much do you think he got paid? Good question. Seven hundred and fifty. The first one. Dude, you're getting real choppy there, Franklin. I am. Yeah. Why is it during months you get choppy? I don't know. It's probably your cheap Chinese headset. It might be nice. <sighs> Can I smack her, please? Yeah, fuck hit her. Do you think I'm choppy, Gibbles? Then again, your headphones not really working either, so. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Shit happens, then you die. I know. <laughs> All right. That's a response. Okay. Uh, Jeff Daniels, 
reportedly earned the role of Harry after Ferelli Brothers remembered him from the Pepto commercial. Yes, Jeff Daniels was a Pepto Bismol commercial. How about that? Uh, That's good I don't get Lloyd, it. I do not get it. Lloyd, sorry. Real. Did it years earlier and kept the move, so he was. Like it was look correct. Hello. His no. like, you sound like you have Tourette's, dude. I changed my, my thoughts. Me or him? You. That narrowed it down. You, Franklin, you. Well, Gibby didn't tell me if I was up to him, so. Oh, yeah. Is it really that bad? Uh, you're, like, you're real choppy. Like, it's kind of bad. Slightly. I... All right, slightly. I do anything about... I could try closing one of these porn windows. I guess that I was saving for earlier. Later, for earlier. I mean, that might be that might be your better oh. option. That might be a good ow, idea. Ow, ow. Take that. <laughs> right, <you> take that. <laughs> JC was eating Allie's feet. <laughs> That'll happen. So, should I continue, or am I just too choppy to even I'm... try? I mean, you could try, but I mean, what? We can't just end the show until, uh, yet. Yes, I can. I have the yes, power. Can. I can end the show whenever I want. I, I agree. Grace would like us only going for forty-five minutes. He'll understand. The only person that we could hear is you. That's enough reason to shut the show down. That <laughs> yeah, you ain't giving on that one. <laughs> oh God, what are we thinking? You guys are asses. Man. That's uh anyway, um I don't know if you heard that but whatever. Just, just kidding anyway. Harry and Lloyd are named after Harold Lloyd, a star during the silent movie era. You can Google it later if you want to. Cage and Gary Oldman were original choices for the Yeah. How would you feel about that? I wouldn't have liked it, man. I would not have liked it. What are you laughing at? You guys didn't hear Allie? No. no. Sorry. We don't we don't I we don't Jimmy was responding to that. She asked JC if she wants JC to she wants to JC to put her she wants to put JC in a laundry basket and I thought Gibby said I wouldn't have liked it. Oh, I would have liked it. <laughs> I would have liked it. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. In order to maintain Harry's frizzy hair for the length of the shoot. Daniels was instructed to only wash his hair. He couldn't use conditioner, blow dry it, or brush it. I have no idea what you're talking about. That would drive me up a wall. Well, that's why you can't be an actor. No, that's why I don't want to be one. I would. No, like, that's I why you can't. You can't. I could. I you could. You could not. Technically, technically, I was a professional actor. I've been paid to act before. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Uh huh. Just for your tits. No, the I worked travel goal was to reach Aspen, Colorado. The actual town wanted too much money for the rights, so so many scenes were shot in nearby Breckenridge. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, keep going. If Mary Swanson would have chosen Lloyd Christmas over her fiancé and then married him, she would have been Merry Christmas. Well, that's <laughs> not really a... That's just, okay. Yeah, really, yeah, really, yeah, really, 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 really. Yes. <laughs> you know that you make name, it fun of you, right, Al? The last you just name call her, her Al. I'm just saying. I call her Al all the time. It's her nickname, bro. All right, What's Zoid? What's the nickname? You could call her Zoid. Zoid Rage. Zoid Rage. Zoid. <laughs> Why rage? Why is she Zoid Rage? Because she's raging like right rage. now. Kind of like Roid Rage, only Zoid Rage, because it sounded the same. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. Whoa. So what are we doing, guys? Whoa, 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 what are we The last whoa, name of Harry and Lloyd's ex-girlfriend, Frenda Fletcher, is also the real name of lurid sexual act that we can't describe here. What? 
Whoa. I got, I got to Google. Oh, oh, oh. Google.com. Wait for it to load. Fletcher. Actually, wait. I'm doing this wrong. Eh. UrbanDictionary.com. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this That's will get me the, the results I'm looking for. Damn you right you will. Me. Loading, loading, loading. Waiting for this to loading. Fletcher. I like the song that we've got going with it. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> no. No. What? No. This is not... That's not a lewd sexual act that we can't talk about. No. What is it? Instead of her life. Did you find it yet or no? Somebody just knocked on the door. I don't. I think somebody broke in. Thank oh, God. The op definition. Well, what's what's a uh, Fletcher? Ah, here we go. Ooh, there's like steps to this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to, to perform a Fletcher, you must sleep with a girl. The night you meet her at her place. This is step one and the most important step. Second, the girl must either fall asleep or pass out if drinking is involved or quaaludes. Go for broke, Bill Cosby. And third, (laughs) you have to leave in the middle of the night. And finally, fourth, you have to leave a small amount of money on her dresser or nightstand. A $5 bill is preferable. My gosh. That's awesome. Um, That's leaving, terrible. Leaving a business card or a note with your number is also worth bonus points. And the purpose is to make a slutty horish girl realize that she is, in fact, slutty and horish. This maneuver is also known as the Julia Roberts, the cheap date, or the sleazy Bateman. That's classy. Hmm. I like that definition better than all these other ones. There's some others, like, uh, it's another term for gay. A backward somersault into the 69 position. That's kinky. Sounds painful. Yeah, I know. That's got to be hard to do. I'm going to go with it's the first one. Because that was an actual lovely definition. How do I, can I, like, vote this up? No, you can't, my friend. the, The top definition is not a terrible asshole like the rest of definitions would suggest. Actually, a pretty nice, honest guy. So whoever Fletcher is wants to pretend he's cool, but he's not. I'm up on this. Yeah. Did I win? Did it pass that? Oh, what? Is that? This is way past. Can I vote this one down? Is that what I have to do? If you're bored, go to Urban Dictionary, look up Fletcher, and downvote the shitty definition and upvote the good one. Anyway, <sighs> moving on. Gibby, relax, buddy. Lloyd's watch is also a casino casino alarm chronograph. No. Suggesting it's a fake of the already inexpensive ride casino. It also lacks any of the dials found on a real chrono- chronographic watch, along with the numerals five, six, and seven. So You sure about that? Okay. It's not uh, seven, it's, eight, that nine. Re- that it's a really expensive watch for no good reason at all. Apparently. Jim Carrey had gallstone surgery while filming Dumb and Dumber. His operation caused the filming to shut down for a week. Ooh. Only a week? For $7 million, it should have only taken two hours. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who just opened a beer? One May. Kibble. Okay, it was me. <laughs> Clint Eastwood took Jeff Daniels' toilet scene very personally. After the movie premiered, and it was a big hit, Daniels was approached by a Hollywood legend, Clint Eastwood, at a celebrity golf tournament, who told the actor that the embarrassing toilet scene actually happened to him in real life, and that it wasn't funny as the movie portrayed it to be. So. So, cool. get the stick out of your butt, Clint Eastwood? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. He probably meant it as a joke, just Clint Eastwood doesn't know how to tell jokes, so it just sounded all scary. Clint Eastwood. He's a scary man. Yeah, I don't like him. Before they filmed Dumb and Dumber 2, Jeff, Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels hadn't worked together in 20 years. That's neat. whoop de doo guys. whoop de doo the most annoying sound in the world was improvised. I'm sure there's a lot more than that that was improvised by Jim Carrey. 
The line where Ew. Lloyd asks like if Harry wants to hear the most annoying sound in the world wasn't in the script. You sure about that? Yes. Do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Yes. <laughs> I was waiting for Tits to say something. That would have been perfect timing. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it was my voice. He, yeah, he like, you want to hear the most annoying missed, sound in the world? Sure. Hey, Tits. He missed a golden opportunity. See, there it is. Brady Blum, who plays Billy, was only 10 years old during the filming, but he was already a veteran TV actor. He appeared on Roseanne, Empty Nest, The Ben Stiller Show, and Baywatch, all before Dumb and Dumber. Well, good for Billy. Oh, Co-writer yeah, Bennett, baby. Bennett Yellen? Huh. Bennett Yellen. Bennett Yellen? Bennett Yellen? Are you Yellen, son? Are you Yellen? Sounds like a real name. First draft of the script was reportedly so scattered, it gained a negative reputation amongst film investors. After it was rewritten, it was pitched to the producers under a fake title, A Power Tool is Not a Toy, so people would actually read it. That's Interesting. actually pretty good idea. I would read something titled, A Power Tool is Not a Toy. Or no, don't put that in that hole. <laughs> Both of those that. sound like really nasty porn. Right? I'm gonna Google that later. Possibly. <laughs> After scamming yeah. Steve Bass to pay their bills, Lloyd says he saw it on a movie. Saw it on a movie? The movie saw he's thinking of is Something Wild, filmed in 1986, or released in 1986. And the guy who pulls the scam is played by none other than Jeff Daniels. Oh, neato. Boo. I mean, yay. I mean, boo. Uh, and finally, the movie had several alternative endings. One where they all the die. End- One of the endings had the Danbury, Danbury Hotel concierge offering Harry and Lloyd a job working one day a week at the hotel, which the pair laughed off and leave on their moped. Another similar ending has the concierge asking the two to stay and possibly look after his grandson, being Billy in 4C, the blind child that, you know, they killed bird. Well, gave the two. Yeah. No. And that's all I have for my corner. Hope you enjoyed my corner. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed that corner. Did you? Give you no, I didn't. Um, corners, no, I didn't. What? Gibby's She's giving corners? us a headache. I said Gibby's used to corners. He probably spends a lot of time and money on them. I got stuck in your corner. I wouldn't. You wouldn't you even would. be able to afford mine. I question that thing, girl. Question that. Gibby does make a lot of money. He's particularly rich. <laughs> What was, what that? was that? That was Dace. What? That was Dace. I felt his presence was needed on the show. That was not Dace. I no no. It was. But what was it? Are these like dates of Snapchat? How'd you guess? How'd you guess? It's like, it's like he's here with us. Exactly. Hi, Dace. Nope. It's not the same no. if he's actually with us. I worry Just about them sometimes. Just saying. Yeah, I only I I did notice that I only seen one bed in the Snapchat. Yeah. Right, and then just, it's like a just seat, saying. And like, well, there's also a um, there's like a, a jacuzzi hot tub. Like, what are they doing tonight after the bar? They, <laughs> they are probably having the best broke mountain experience of their lives. Probably. Well, there is a couch. They, they have a suite with two dudes. Kerbin keeps asking for back rubs, and Dace is pretty lonely anymore. 
Damn right. <laughs> He's probably going to kill us for saying all of this. The letters like do that all fancy. I know. Okay. Stop that. Uh, are we done yet? Uh, I don't know. Is there any celeb news that you want to talk about? Is it even worth hitting the celeb news button to talk about it? People died. <laughs> it's my celeb news, guys. Jesus, Gibby. I don't People know. did die. People did die. People die all the time. It's just it's the way he said it. <laughs> People died. Like, they did yeah. die. People died. I'm just trying to let you know. It's really nice. I, I appreciate. I appreciate it, Gibby. You're welcome. You're a mess. Mm. Oh. Yep. Yep. One bed, creeping on people. That's what I'm telling you. Like, like they're 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 in a bed. By They've themselves. got a stuffed monkey. Why does Kerbin have a stuffed monkey? Why does Kerbin do anything Kerbin does? I've done questioning the man. Like he, his Snapchat was a monkey holding a bottle of vodka. Yes. Yes, Yo, it was. that bottle of vodka is probably wrecked already, knowing them. It's gone. It was yeah. gone two seconds after you sent that Snapchat. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yay. Um, so, is that, doing, guys? is that it? We've got like three minutes till we reached an hour. All right. Well, guys. So, like, is there anything you'd like to talk about? Plug? No. Whatever. For the few. No, it's not that time. For the proud. It's not that time. For the day secular. It is not that time. I'll see you guys next time. It is not <laughs> time. Quick, hit the end button. Hit the end button. No, no, it is not time yet. You're really going to drag this out, are you? Yes. Just for your sake, huh? Yep. Yours. Such an egotistical maniac. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Tell you. Uh, follow Take us on Twitter at The Days Man Show. Email Gibby at thedaysmanshow at gmail.com. Go to the website, uh, The Days Man Show. Really, if you want to get a hold of us, search for The Days Man Show and do stuff. In fact, Good. I've been tweeting a little bit. I don't have any new tweets. You Up just, to 51 yeah. followers on the Twitters. Yeah, buddy. On the boy, Twitters. Boy. On the Twitters. I think we're still only at like 400 some Facebook likes or follows or whatever. Uh, I think it was just funny the day that I just started following it and you got really mad at me. Because <laughs> well, you're mean. We all understand that. <laughs> and you had been on the show for like four months. <laughs> or a year. I don't really know. You've been on here forever. Um, it's been about a year almost, yeah, because I started, I don't know when I started, but I did start about a year ago, because I was, it was right before Comic-Con. All right, you're oh, just me. Oh, shit, Shut I was up. supposed to do that. That actually do New what? York Comic-Con. Did you, oh, Frank, it might be too late. It's never too late. No, it might be too late. It's never I'm gonna too look late. For you. I'm going to look for you, hold on. You might be able to just take mine. Uh, doesn't it have, like, your name on it or something? I might be able to switch the name, depending on if they let me or not. Are you... Oh, my God. What was that? I said, why? You don't want to go? Uh, I'll tell you later. If you're not you, going, she... and you can just switch the names. That would make my life oh, wait, so wait, much wait, easier. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Frank, you still have a You still have time. I still have a day. You, Is that what you're about you, to say? You have like two days. Yeah. You have like two days to do it. Where the hell Legit. do I go to do this? Here, go. Press registration? I, I'm going to send you the link and then you just scroll all the way down to the bottom, the bottom and hit apply now. Could do that. For the few. <laughs> For the proud. No. For not the that spectacular. it is that. Oh, shit. Well, I think this is exactly where I'll I am. See you guys. You might have been. I'm, I might have click, click, motherfucking cheap ass piece of shit computer. Copy. For the few. Hey, no, no, not For yet. The not yet. For the day's tackling. Not yet. I'll see you guys next time. Not yet. Oh my God.
plug into the goddamn... Decisions are final. It cannot be appealed. Uh, please click through the online form. You are going to make me seriously log in. Just to hit the end, end show button, are you? I mean, I can, I can end it. It's 9 o'clock, Frank. Should we let him end it? Why? I'm in the middle of something... Hey, not wait, are you are you guys in the studio? I am. What are you doing in here? I've been in here the whole show. Get out For the of crowd. here. I'll end the show. For the no. taste tech. Fine, fine, fine. For the proud few proud tastacular marines, whatever it is we're talking about, good night and goodbye. <laughs>